Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I hope everyone got a better night's sleep than me. I just couldn't sleep and then up at 5.30 with Lucy, it's just kind of her new trend. Lucy's my daughter, most of you guys know that. Um, and then when she woke up, we then realized, hey, we don't have any milk in the house. So an early morning grocery trip to the store to get milk. We should know better. So what I was going to show you today, and um, kind of give you a notice, I've already done my face makeup, um, my <laughs> my camouflage of my under eye circles, and you know, so I've got my bare minerals and my erase paste and all that good stuff. That's complete. What I was going to show you today is um, how to do your eyes, and I will tell you all the products in the bar um, underneath just because I don't want to have to, like, show a product to you every time. I think that's really annoying sometimes. Um, but if that's something you like, just let me know. I'd be happy to do it. And also, if I have to stop the video halfway through, it's because um, I only have a 15-minute limit, which is kind of crazy because this should not take 15 minutes. But since the camera makes me a little nervous, I guess, I'll get used to that. Um... Sometimes I babble on and on like this. So just kind of like if I'm talking too much, just go, ah, and then I will note later on when the actual makeup application begins. And also another thing is um, Lucy is downstairs taking a morning nap, which is sort of unprecedented to her. And so if she wakes up, I'll also have to cut that short. All right, so the first thing I want to do is use my, I found my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I thought I was out, but I am not, Glory B. Get that all over the eyelid, you need like the teeniest bit, you need less than you think you do with this stuff. And I get the inner corner of my eyes too, just because, um, I probably put some stuff on there as well. And that part is done. You know, I know some other makeup bloggers, vloggers, and I hate that word vlog. If you can come up with a better word for what I'm doing right now than a vlog, then let me know. I think I know. I think I said that on my um on my blog, my real blog. But just let me know. And I think I'm only gonna do one eye at a time because. I hear Lucy down there, and we don't want to keep that girl waiting. I'm going to use a really light color, um, L'Oreal Infallible's Eternal Sunshine, which is a great, it's a really nice gold color, like a true pale gold. Um, and when I get eyeshadow out, I just kind of dab. I don't like smear or scoop or anything. That's something I've kind of learned over the past year. I also dab on my eyes pack the color on instead of doing this bit. If you do like that sometimes, you're going to get fallout. Um, and you have a little bit more control over doing it like this. Did I get it all? I'm going to get a little gold on the inside here too. And look at the time too. I've only been talking for three minutes. That's great. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm always making fun of my mom for clearing her throat excessively, but clearly I do the same thing. But, you know, y'all, it's it's allergy season, so that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I'm going to use this brush. I think I mentioned that yesterday. They're all essence. And the next eyeshadow I'm going to use on my crease is Infallible in Amber Rush. Oh, such a pretty, pretty color. This one, um, when I get the color on this brush, I do swirl it around. And I'm going to do the same thing like I do with my um, bare minerals. Tap, tap, tap. Or you can tap, tap, tap on your hands. You just don't want to have um, excess product on your brush to make it fall out. I hate fallout. So, dab, 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 dab. Just go in that crease. 
and I'm going to get a little bit of the inner corner here, or outer corner here. Now that it's on there, I'll do my windshield wiper move and kind of bring it up a little bit. Is that getting... Okay, yeah. Okay. And now, now I can hear Lucy crying, but you know what? She'll be okay. She's just kind of fussing in her crib downstairs, so I know she'll be all right. If she really starts screaming, of course I'll go in there. I swear to you all, I'm not a bad mother. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Okay, the next color is a really bright pink, and it's kind of, um, can be a bit intimidating. It's definitely, like, if someone punches you in the eye, that color purple pink. I've never been punched in the eye for the record. Not yet. Okay, and using the same brush, I'm going to pick up this color and add it to the crease to really get a definite definition. Up, 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 up. Because you really want to open up your eyes. Well, maybe you don't, but I kind of feel like I want to. Okay. Now it's time to blend it out a little bit. This is my another essence brush. I wish I had some fancier brushes to show off, but maybe someday. And I moved my um, desk and camera and all that stuff yesterday in hopes that it would be better to see for everyone. Um, but I'm not really sure if that's working. What is that? Okay. Alright, so I've got my three colors up and away. Now what comes next? Oh yeah. The eyebrow brush. Love it. Even though I haven't done the other eye, I'll just walk around with half an eye done all day and kind of see if it weirds the kids out. That would be kind of fun or, or not. And where is my little brush? There it is! This is my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner, which is the bomb. Do people say that anymore, the bomb? Because when I say it, I kind of feel like... I'm showing my 31 years of age. The bomb. Oh, there goes my perfume. Oh. Stop rolling around. Okay. Since this is a dramatic look, I might even try and go up and out like a cat eye and connect some of this um, gel eyeliner to my bottom, even though I really don't like to do my bottom lashes with eyeliner. But sometimes you need it, especially with a dramatic look. Otherwise, you just kind of need that enhancement. And you can use the gel eyeliner on your bottom lash. I've never used um, regular liquid uh, eyeliner. Why is my camera zooming in and out? Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to smudge a little bit. And since I'm, I don't even need the eyeliner eyeliner anymore, because I've used this liquid stuff. Uh-oh. This might be a little too much, even for a nighttime smoky look. Yep, this is too much. Okay. 
you guys think it's too much? It's too late now. Okay, let me close this back up, and I'm going to put on my L'Oreal Voluminous False Lashes, which is a, what I would call, special occasion mascara. See this part in my eye right there? I think that's a... So I'm not flipping them off either. I think, <laughs> I think that's a faux pas. So I'll go back later and correct that, because it should not be so thick, the black right there. So I'll fix that later. Let me get my mascara on and give you guys a goodbye and thank you for watching hint this mascara is really awesome have you ever tried to oh <laughs> I got a mascara booger on my nose oh and then I've got one on my <laughs> on my um, upper eye that's not good but have you ever tried to put mascara on with your mouth closed kind of hard. That's why I'm always like, or, I don't, you just have to make a funny face. It's just kind of in the, in the rules. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff on that brush. I know on my web, not my web page, but on the Facebook page that I created, I had said such great things about this mascara, and to be honest with you, oops, there rolls all my brushes. To be honest with you, on this mascara, I've kind of changed my mind, because it's really, really crazy clumpy. Unless you completely remove all the product from the brush every time you use it, I'm not wasting a lot of product. Let's see. You can't even see my eyelashes, but I, I mean, I can see them, but you can't see them on the screen. Alright, and I'll worry about those, um, mascara boogers that I have here and there later once they dry and I can fuck them off a little easier. Um, I don't know. That looks really silly. But, um... That's one eye done for you guys with all L'Oreal eye products except for the face primer. <sighs> Everything is falling off of my computer desk. So I'm also going to do something new. I collect mini perfumes. I love perfume. And this one is Poppy by Coach. And it is really great. So if you're looking for a new fragrance, I would definitely recommend that. And look, I did it in less than my allotted 15 minutes. Looks, looks nice, looks nice, nice, natural. Um, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. You all have a great day and um, a good week.